सोशियोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट को शक्ति नेतृत्व शासकीय विकास पावर लीडरशिप गवर्नमेंटालिटी एंड डेवलपमेंट में यहाँ लगत आज हम इसमें संभावित डेफिनेसन अफ द की टर्म्स को बारे में चर्चा करने पेलो में अकाउंटबिलिटी अकाउंटबिलिटी इक्वेट्स टू हेविंग अल्टिमेट रेस्पोन्सिबिलिटी फर एन एरिया एक्टिविटी ग्रुप प्रोजेक्ट डिपार्टमेंट एटीसी This assumes ideally that the accountable person has the necessary authority and capability for such unlimited responsibility. Accountability is not fair or reasonable where authority and capability are inadequate for the responsibility concern. Accountability is different to responsibility. Accountability is not generally delegated where responsibility very commonly is. Accountability generally requires a person to have responsibility extending beyond the performance of a, of a tax or duty to having freedom in determining and potentially changing how the responsibility is exercised. See the differences between accountability and action central leadership. A leadership model based on three elements tax, team, individual responsibility in the leadership proposed section authentic leadership a generally commendable and positive leadership philosophy with emphasis on openness and honesty being true to own self and similarly ethical and high integrity behaviors autocratic leadership dictatorial method of leading low concern for followers and high emphasis on tax typically reinforced with threat punishment and often ruthless exploitation of workers who have little or no freedom to receive or desert a feature of a strongly dictatorial application of the transactional leadership style leadership behavior often Pluralized in referring to leadership behaviors, which are broadly how a leaders act, what the leaders does, and how the leaders does it. There is a strong correlation between behavior and style in a context of describing and understanding leadership theory, like the word concept and other quite work terms. The word behavior behaviors need to be clarified where it is important to understand its uses effective leadership common expression basically meaning good leadership for example leadership approach which achieves tax organizational aim while also satisfying all other needs and obligations of leadership for the situation since situation can change a lot for any given leader the term also implies leadership capability to adopt methods styles in maintaining effectiveness ethics ethical leadership a flexible but very real and vital concept referring to the moral code applicable for a given situation within the notion there are many generally accepted universal rights and wrongs for example not causing suffering to people not stealing not lying or cheating but other ways clear rights wrong see the ethical leadership philosophy and the separate section on ethical management and leadership leadership model structure or framework or processes which can be used to learn teach apply and adopt leadership or a tool that enables people to lead effectively and grow as leaders see more details at leadership terminology definition in general the terms is used rather loosely in this article the term leadership model is a lot more specific and refers to the main category of leadership theories explained in this article leadership models leadership philosophy an approach to leading that is driven by a set of value and beliefs these values govern the aims that a leader proposes and how he or she acts this can be underpinned by beliefs about wider issues than leadership see more detail at leadership terminology definition in general the term is used rather 
loosely in the article the term literacy philosophy is not like more specific and returns to a leisure but nevertheless very significant category of leadership theories explained in this article leadership philosophies leadership style a particular and relatively narrow behavior or set of behaviors that are used by real life leaders and which may arise to a degree as an aspect or mode of leadership within a leadership model a leadership style alone is very inadequate for teaching, applying, and adapting leadership methods. See more details at leadership terminology definition. In general, the term is used rather lightly, loosely, and this article, the term leadership style is a lot more specific and referred to a lesser category or leadership theories explained in this article. Governmentality. Foucault originally used the term governmentality to describe a particular way of administrating population in modern European history within the context of the rise of idea of the state. He later explained his definition to encompass the techniques that pursuit which are designed to govern the conduct of both individuals and populations at every level, not just the administrative or political level. This includes the notion of self-government. Identity. Although Foucault's work is often hailed as one of the inspirations for various identity movements, Foucault himself favors the dissolution of identity rather than its creation or maintenance. He sees identity as a form of subjugation and way of exercising power over people and preventing them from moving outside fixed boundaries. Power. Foucault agrees a number of points in relation to power and offers definitions that are directly opposed to more traditional liberal and Marxist theory of power. It is important to note that Foucault refined his definition of power over time and his views are not homogeneous definitions. Power is not a thing but a relation. Power is not simply repressive but it is productive. Power is not simply a property of a state power. It is not something that is exclusively localized in government and the state which is not a universal in sense rather power is exercised throughout the social body power operates at the most micro levels of social relations power is omnipresent at every level of the social body the exercise of power is strategy and warlike types of power so reason power postural power power knowledge the state Democratic leadership, citizenship, a legal status and relation between an individual and a state or other territorial polity, such as the European Union, a federal province, or only particular partially recognized state that entails specific legal rights and duties. Citizenship of a state is generally used as a synonym for nationality. See nationality where citizenship is used in a meaning that is different from nationality. It refers to the legal rights and duties of individuals attached to nationality under domestic law. In some national law, citizenship has a more specific meaning and refers to rights and duties that can only be exercised by nationals after the years of majority such as voting rights or to rights and duties that nationals can only exercise in the national territory. Except where especially state, we do not use broader norm legal interpretation of citizenship which refer to identities, practices and virtues of individuals and organizations oriented towards to common good or to membership and activities of individuals in organization and civil society association. Citizenship law. Law regulating the acquisition and loss of the legal state of citizenship. Citizenship requirements. Legal requirements pertaining to the acquisition and loss of citizenship. This refers to bright right acquisition requirement, naturalization requirement and condition for voluntary or involuntary loss of citizenship. Acquisition of citizenship. Becoming a citizen whether by birth or at any time after birth, whether by automatic attribution, by individual declaration, registration option or application or by non-automatic attribution by public authorities. 
social revolution. The social revolution are certain change in the structure and nature of society. These revolutions are usually recognized as having transformed in society, culture, philosophy and technology much more than political system. Then the scope all state that social revolution is a combination of throwing structural transformation and massive class affairs. New social moment. Social moments which points that the advent of the post structural economy resulted in a new way of social movements distinct from those social movements arising during the industrial economy. In these new social movements, more importance is attached to social and cultural concerns rather than economic or political consideration. Actors in NSMs are from a new middle class instead of from the lower classes, as was typical of social movements of the industrial economy. NSMs consist of informal, loosely organized social networks of sufferers rather than members and tend to be locally based NSMs act as a platform for collective action in civil society or in the cultural domain rather than as an instrumental tool for the state. As such, new movements are often considered to be anti authorism NSMs are normally centered on a single issue or a limited range of issues which are related to the broader theme, such as the environment. Critics of NSM theory include the fact that non materialistic moments existed in the industrial era and materialistic moments prestige in the post-industrial economy. While there are few traits that are specific to new social movements, differences between old and new movements have already been explained by theories preceding NSM and the NSM does not take into account right-wing movements.